What's going on guys? So the jailbreak that we've all been waiting for is finally here. Yes, this is the jailbreak with Absinthe 2.0 for all, and I mean pretty well all, uh, iOS 5 devices. So this is going to give you the 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak for pretty much any iOS 5 device. Alright, so there's going to be two parts to this video. First, I'll show you how to jailbreak an iDevice that has never been uh, jailbroken before. So, for example, the iPad 3 or the new iPad. I'll show you how to jailbreak that. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak uh, an iDevice that you have previously jailbroken. Um, for me, I've got my iPhone 4, and it's got a jailbroken iOS 5.0.1 on there. So I'll show you how to jailbreak that in 5.1.1 in the second part of the video. So, uh, first things first, we have to go over a couple of things. Uh, first thing I want to go over is if you have a uh, tethered 5.1.1 jailbreak um, with your iDevice then all you have to do is go into Cydia on your iDevice and download actually let me show you all right so there it is just go ahead and open Cydia search for Rocky Raccoon and there it is Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 on tether so just go ahead and install that um, and that's absolutely free you don't have to pay for anything don't have to go into iTunes or do any backing up restoring nothing just download that install it and you're good to go and if this video helps you guys, make sure to go ahead and like it down below. Alright, so next, if you have any unjailbroken iOS device uh, that runs iOS 5, so anything that's on 5, 5.0, uh, 5.0.1, or any of the rest of them, just do the uh, restore through iTunes. Make sure, if you want to back everything up, just go ahead and do that. Um, but if you already have a backup, then you can go ahead and install 5.1.1 uh, with your backup or with your restore um, from an earlier version, and you're pretty much good to go. You you can go ahead and uh, run Absinthe. Alright, so once iTunes has finished downloading the 5.1.1 software, you're going to see something like this. Your iPhone or iDevice is going to be uh, installing the software and then it's just going to reboot. And that should give you a clean version of iOS 5.1.1 on your device. Alright, so now we're verifying the software. And once that's done, you are pretty much almost done. Then we'll have to run Absinthe and we'll be pretty much finished. All right, so now that you have a fresh version of iOS 5.1.1 on the device that you want to jailbreak, whether it be an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, whatever it is, now you're going to want to go ahead and click the link in the description to download Absinthe 2.0 and uh, extract it to your desktop. It's going to look like this. It's called absinthe.exe. And for all you Windows users, make sure to right-click on the file and run as administrator so go ahead and run that there we go so it detects my iPad 3 Wi-Fi with iOS 5.1.1 so let's just go ahead and click on jailbreak all right so the absinthe jailbreak is done on the iPad 3 which I'm actually really excited to uh, really excited about can't wait to test out some of these awesome applications from the city store all right so there we go slide to unlock and there it is Cydia on a 5.1.1 iPad 3. And finally, if you have a currently untethered jailbreak, um, so let's say that you're running 5.0.1 and it's an untethered jailbreak, and you want to upgrade now to an untethered 5.1.1, here's what I suggest that you do. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your iTunes and synchronize everything that you've got on there. So your info with all of your contact information, you're going to want to sync your applications, your music, your movies, or whatever you have on your iDevice. Um, and that way it's just going to make everything a little bit easier uh, when you do your backup and restore process because you don't want to be um, saving all of your jailbreak data, like all your SSSH blobs into uh, your backup or into your restores on iTunes. So I would just advise uh, to back up everything, make sure that you have a copy of everything on your uh, physical computer um, and not just on your iDevice before you continue with Absinthe. So as you guys can see here, I've got an iPhone 4 on 5.0.1 um, and it has been uh, jailbroken. So again, I'd suggest making sure to go ahead and sync up all of your info, apps, music, movies, movies, TV shows, books, photos, all of that stuff you want to make sure that you actually have on your physical computer before you go ahead and continue with Absinthe. So I'll show you what you want to do for your restore process without showing you uh, my serial number hopefully. So you want to just go ahead and uh, click on restore once you know that you've got everything saved. Um, and it's going to go ahead and here you go. So what you want to do is do not click backup. 
do not click backup. Go ahead and click don't backup. If you tap on backup or if you click on backup, basically that's gonna uh, restore, that's gonna save all of your jailbreak data onto your backup. You don't want any of that stuff because um, Absinthe will take care of everything for you. Um, so just go ahead and make sure you click on don't backup and then you'll be pretty good, pretty much good to go. Once you hit don't backup, then just click on restore and update and you'll be good to go. You'll have a fresh version of 5.1.1 on your iDevice and then we can continue on with Absinthe. Alright, so our jailbreak process is almost done. My iPhone just reset itself, so it looks like it's in its final stages, but we'll just wait until our blue bar has totally filled. And it sounds like it's resetting. There we have it. It's going ahead and uh, installing all of the firmware um, with the jailbreak data from the Absinthe jailbreak. So let's go ahead and wait for that to be complete. All right, so we're completely finished now. It says done, enjoy. That's when it's safe to go ahead and slide to unlock. And if you scroll far enough, we should see Cydia. There she is. So Cydia on your 5.1.1 device. Uh, that is awesome. So that's it. We've got Cydia on our 5.1.1 device. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure to like that. Hit that like button if you like this video or if this helped you at all. Um, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure to subscribe for um, there's going to be a lot of other videos. And I'm going to be making another channel all about just, you know, non-tech related videos. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe for more of me. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Peace.